welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. I surely appreciate each and every one of you and I know I don't tell you that enough so I just wanted to let you know right now. So today's video is about focusing on positives because sometimes we get so caught up in things that have not yet manifested or things that we have that we don't like that we don't really count our blessings. Now, this may this exercise that I'm about to teach you may be helpful for a range of things. If there is someone that you are dealing with in your workplace that is really rude to you and maybe you're being bullied, then this is going to help. If you are in a relationship and your partner isn't doing something that you want them to do, then you need to focus on um, things that are really beautiful about it. For instance, the house that um, Peter and I are living in now, we feel that we have, that this house is too big for us. It is a one bed and we are on a mission to live in a tiny house. That lifestyle truly appeals to us and that sparks joy. So even though this house is lovely, this is not what we want um, in the future. Our lease is ending in about four-ish months. So we are thinking, we're writing like a list of positive aspects that we love about this house um, so that we don't become fixated on the negatives. We find that really the only thing we use in our house is, let me flip you around, our couch, this little bar table here, and our kitchen. We don't watch the TV, that's for sale. We're gonna sell that soon. The table that I'm sitting on now which is a really beautiful table and I wanted this table for so long but we don't sit at it um you know we just we don't need all of this stuff so write a list of positive aspects that you love so this is actually very similar to um the rampage of appreciation where you're literally just saying I love my bed I love my pillow I love my house I love my couch I love my um new cup that I just bought oh where is it here so big. I just had a turmeric latte, hence the yellow. Um, yeah, I love my computer. I love this and this and this. But I find that when you have to write a list of positive aspects, it's usually around a very difficult situation. It could be in regards to you know that you need to forgive someone so you can release the guilt and move on, but it is very difficult for you to do. And you're like, you just really like pissed off with the world. So I find that when you write a list of positive aspects, just literally, you know, send to yourself, maybe burn a candle or some incense or white sage, or, you know, go to somewhere that makes you feel amazing. Maybe go in mother nature so you feel the frequency, your frequency rise, because mother nature emits this high frequency that you don't get indoors and near computers and TVs and iPods and iPads and phones and all that kind of stuff. So find somewhere that is like your safe place where you feel truly comfortable and then take out a piece of paper and I want you to write down um, a list of positive aspects about and write the situation or the person's name. Now I want you to spend time writing the things that you love about this person or this situation. You know, now just, I don't want you to struggle through the process, but you know, in order for you to feel good, instead of spending so much energy and negativity and hate towards this person or the situation, send love. And when you vibrate on the frequency of love, you know, you can manifest anything within your life. If someone has done such a horrible thing to you um, that has caused such an emotional or maybe a physical blockage in your life and you don't feel that you're living your best life, then this is what you should no, not should. This is what I recommend that you do, or maybe that's not even a good way to say. On my journey, I find that this has truly helped me release my blockages. It's just another way to do it. So take time, write down the list of positive aspects. Because I've been listening to um, Abraham Hicks morning, I don't know what it's called, morning mindset, or maybe that's what I've called it. I don't know. It's just like 15, 20 minutes of like, high vibrational thoughts and in one of the segments she says I'm going to look list, look for positive aspects within my day no matter what contrast has happened and I'm going to find them so there is always beauty in every situation and 
sometimes we, we just need to get them out on a piece of paper and then read them back and you'll be like, oh. So I was actually reading, did I show you this already? I can't remember if it's in this video or another one. Um, the Amazing Power of Deliberate Intent, The Art of Allowing from Esther and Jerry Hicks, which talks about the teachings of Abraham. Now, it is on chapter 33, 33, that's the Trinity. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Divine Guidance. Um, so this is actually an exercise from this book here that I came across and I just wanted to share it with you. So, um, let me give you an example of a home deterioration situation that they speak about and I'll give you an example. So this is kind of like story time, so I guess I love my loves. So it says, I've lived in the same place for a long time and I'm tired of it. It doesn't meet our needs at all anymore, but we really can't afford to move. I even find myself looking for excuses to not be at home because I don't feel good when I'm here. I feel frustrated, I feel irritation, I feel pissed off. I just added that one. I just felt like I needed a little bit of oomph. Positive aspects of your, of your home. So this is what you could write in your list. My things have been in the same place for long enough and I know where they are. Isn't that interesting? <laughs> there is stability in being in a familiar place. We fix this place up as much as we've intended to. So we can now spend our free time doing things we like. Our friends and professional contacts are not likely to lose touch with us here. We have a good relationship with our mail carrier and other service people who have known us for a long time. It's been fun watching our landscape yard mature. Some of those trees and shrubs are like old friends. Okay, do you see where I'm kind of coming from? Like who would have thought of something like, you know, this place is familiar to you. But that is, that may, that's a good thing. Okay. What's the other one? Okay, this one is a co-worker situation, so I'll read this one. It says, I share an office with someone who I can hardly stand to be around. She doesn't have a nice thing to say about much of anything, and she wants to talk all the time. She doesn't enjoy her job, and she treats me like I'm foolish when I want to do mine. I wish she'd either quit or get fired. Life is too short to spend so much time with someone so unpleasant. I feel irritated, I feel blame, I feel anger. Now, this is a list of positive aspects for this one. I am pleased that I have employment. I'm happy that I have a regular paycheck. I like the financial stability that my work provides. I enjoy many of the people who work here. My job requires focus and I love the feeling of being productive. My office mate, my office mate keeps a neat desk. My office mate, that's a weird way to phrase that. Would you say my co-worker keeps a neat desk? She always dresses neatly. She has a great laugh. She has a good background in our field and she learns quickly. Can you see how sometimes when you take yourself away from the situation and you look at it through your rose-colored glasses, that there are positive things in every situation. And sometimes you might not have a whole list like that. Maybe you just have two things, but that's two more things that you can focus on instead of the negative. So maybe it's something that you keep in your phone as a note, or maybe you write it on a piece of paper and keep it in your wallet. Or if you're at work, maybe you just keep it in, inside your top desk and you kind of can peek at it whenever you feel overwhelmed or pissed up. Anyways, my love, that's my little two bobs worth for today. So I wanted to give you some inspiration that whatever you're dealing with, that this is something that can help you on your journey. Because when we focus on beautiful, positive things, we raise our vibration and our frequency. When we vibrate in the frequency of love. We close the gap of the resistance to whatever our emotional or physical blockages are. And that's when we manifest our heart's true desires. Let me know, my loves. What's been going on for you? I'd love to hear from you in the comment section below. Please make sure you like this video, you subscribe, share it with anyone that needs a little bit of a mood booster. Make sure you turn on notifications too because that will let you know when you click in the little bell um, when I upload. Anyways, have an amazing day. I'll see you next episode. I love you, I love you, I love you. Goodbye, my loves.